So here are two night, two uh, lingerie dressers that I've, I've made. Now let me say, excuse the mess, I've been doing a lot here around the shop. And, but I have to finish these, so instead of cleaning up, I just get right to finishing it. I'll be painting outside, so I won't have to worry about them. Now let me explain a little bit about the, uh, the dresser. Now the dresser is, it's made up of wood and MDF. MDF uh, boards reason why I did that was because it will make it more durable instead of having just the MDF structure and uh, one of the things I did was was I did a frame just like making a door I made the side panels and then put the I made a side panel frame and then put the uh, the panel into it if you look on the inside there you can see side panel in there but um and then this make it stronger then for the legs I just did tapered legs some tapered legs with uh, a little arch on there you go to the front one a little arch right there and the drawers are made up of MDF um, let me open one here The drawers are very simple. They're the simplest I could come up with. Now all it is is just a a little lap joint right there. No, it's not a lap joint. Uh, I don't know what this joint. I don't remember what this joint is called, but it it's like I just cut out a little lap, half lap right there, and then I just use. The front of it is three quarters MDF. The side and the back is made up of uh, three eighths. Half inch would be better, but three eighths work. And then in the bottom, I use one eighth ha hard board masonite. I think this is called masonite. Our hardboard and uh, one problem I ran into every time I do this and I've been trying to figure this out is this edge right here as you can see how porous it is and but I'll get to that in a little bit top out a solid wood just in case somebody come with a, a glass or something wet and sit it on there it won't if it's MDF then it will just swell up and you have to just change it then they will never blame themselves they will always blame the maker now like I was saying and that just complete the the lingerie dresser um, now it's just for finishing sanding and, and painting now like I was saying the thing that I always always have a problem with is fixing these uh, the pores of this uh, the MDF and every time I paint I'm never satisfied with the with the finish on the edges of the MDF. So I uh, 
I went on YouTube and I I tried to to find something that I could, you know, last night most of the night I was trying to find something and I'm fixing MDF edges and I couldn't find any. So I saw where they use wood filler to fill the pores on 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 solid wood. And that's one thing that I've never done before, which I should incorporate in my finish. And I, I will incorporate that in my finishing techniques. But um what what it what it is 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 uh right now it's it's all dried up but um it's just a wood filler this wood filler right here that I uh, figured I I should give it a try I tested it out on a on a piece before I actually put it on the workpiece so what I did I I it's it's drying up so I'll just add a little bit of water to it and I just mix it up a little till I get it to the consistence of about mayonnaise, mayonnaise or peanut butter and uh, then I apply it to the MDF edges so here is one that you know, don't have it on there and then here's another that do have it on there so that one as I said don't have it on there and this one uh, I've already put it on the on the project but um I'll show you one that I was practicing with and here is a finished piece that I did now the way I did it was I just with a stick and a little bit I just apply it now my concern was um, because it was water based um, filler I thought it would ruin the MDF but as you can see it didn't so I just applied it like that now with it at that consistency what it does it it fills all the pores and then uh, with a piece of sandpaper this is a piece of 180 now it's best to use a sanding block so you don't change the uh, the shape of the piece but uh, just for this demonstration I'll just use my fingers and just uh, do that there so now that has the 180 grit now it being wood filler it's easy to sand so I can just jump from 180 to 320 the 180 I just use it to knock off the heavy part of the filler and then I just go back and did that and that's the that's the idea so it went from this to that now to this and as you can see there is the pores are filled and there are no more of those holes in it that's just dust right there then to see how it will turn out, I on my test piece, I put some stain on it. And I think it turned out well. So that will be my technique for filling the edges of the, of the MDF. If I find something better, which is 
which is accessible where I live, then I'll just use that. But for now, wood filler thinned out with water, applied, dried, and then sanded, you can get this finish. Or a better finish. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace out.